Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to this channel. In this video, I'm going to talk with you about a productivity software that will enable you to create a very relevant presentation in just few clicks. And all what you need to do is to provide the context in three steps. So basically the software will ask you to provide on what topic you want the presentation to be made and then it will try to further refine it by asking follow-up questions. Now, before we go further, please consider like and subscribe to this channel to follow more such productivity tips and tricks. Now, let's get started. Okay, so here we are at our desktop screen. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open internet browser and here we go. Here I have open Google Chrome. Now here in search bar, I'm going to type desktop bus and uh, you need to open the first link and not to worry guys i'm gonna also provide you the direct link so that you can reach to this page now before we actually start let's create an account so in order to create your account you simply need to click here on get started and since i'm already logged in so let me quickly log out and show you how easy actually it is to create account simply need to log in using google account and then you can choose your google id to sign in and there we go how easy it is to create account inside desktop us now you have two more to start with first one is by utilizing a template so here you can see you know different different types of templates available so you can choose any one of and then we can get started Then you can further customize it by editing logo, title and image. But this one seems um, pretty straightforward and I really do not want it to be like this. So what actually I'm going to do is um, let me cancel it. Now let's click here on start from scratch. So um, you may got confused by seeing these templates. Just skip that and click on this create with AI. So let's write here the topic name. For example, I want to understand the difference between scalar and vector quantities. So let me quickly write here. Make a presentation on the difference between scalar and vector quantities. So I really like physics and this is one of a very basic topics most of us might have studied in school level. So I believe a lot of folks already know about it. Now after writing the topic name, let's click on let's start. And now we are getting follow up question, which is who is your audience? So here you can see what options we are getting. This is high school physics students or undergraduate physics students or engineering students. Let's select this one, which is professional in the field that use vector quantities such as aviation or navigation. So basically what we are setting here, proper context based on the target audience. So this definitely going to improve the overall experience and going to create a very relevant PPT. Now let's click here on next. Okay, so now here we have got another question, which is what's your aim for this deck? Now here you can choose what is your aim for this presentation. First one is to educate professionals in aviation and navigation about the fundamental difference between scalar and vector to demonstrate the importance. So, you know, you can see here three different objective or you would like to write your own. So you can always, you know, simply delete this and write your own objective. I would like to go with the first one so I can also select it like this. And you might also have seen how relevant, you know, objective the software itself coming with, which is quite impressive, I would say. Now let's click here on next. And now here we need to choose the presentation duration. Let's go with the larger one, which, which is 40 minutes. And let's click on next. Now here we have got these four different templates. Let's go with minimal one and click on generate. Now let's wait for the desktop us to work on it and come up with some cool presentation. 
and remember guys since this is ai powered so not every time you will get good result so this may happen that when you ask question the result is not that great so i would suggest you in that case you can always go for regeneration now let's jump into result because here we can see result is available and it came up with um, 15 slides so let's click here on play and see what kind of result it come up with so the first page of which shows heading which is navigating scalar and vector quantities in aviation and the heading look perfect since um you know because of the follow-up question which helps the software to determine what is our objective which is our targeted audience so based on that it have selected the title now let's click on next now this is introduction slide you can always edit this and add a picture then here we have um, objective which is to educate professional in aviation and navigation about fundamental difference between scalar and vector quantity and let's click on next and here comes the definition so here we can see in terms of content how good the content is so it is actually letting us know the definition and difference between scalar and vector quantity so a scalar quantity is a physical quantity that only have magnitude and no direction then we can also see example of scalar and vector quantity then we are going deep into scalar and vector quantity which look awesome guys so here we have got furthermore slide or i would say dedicated slide over scalar quantity its definition and some examples then here we can see um, the definition and example of vector quantity then uh, we are seeing furthermore example and then application based on the context we have selected so we have selected aviation application and navigation application so we are seeing example based on the context isn't it amazing guys but definitely we need to further fine tune it and we also need to format this and um, in terms of color here you can see you have bunch of style available so based on your need you can choose all these styles and can go with any one of them if we talk about the different different plan this application offer then it comes with two types of plan which is pro plan and business plan so based on your need you can also upgrade your desktopers and can go with these premium plan in my opinion it is worth checking this application so i would definitely recommend you to check it out and see what it is capable of if you do not want to go with the paid one then i would recommend you to check out our video on how we can create awesome looking powerpoint presentation only utilizing chat gpt you will find the video link in the description of this video so that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if yes then don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel for such content and i will catch you soon in my next video till then you take care and bye bye